Hey, hey, David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all is well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today you're going to learn the song Night Moves by Bob Seger off of his 1976 record, his ninth record with the same title, Night Moves. Really fun song to play on acoustic guitar. As far as the tuning and the capo, the song is in standard tuning, so go ahead and tune your guitars low to high, E, A, D, G, B, and E. Now, on the original recording, it's recorded in the key of G sharp. So what we're doing is we're playing in standard tuning, put the capo at the first fret. I think it's best to stay true to the original recording, and this way you could um, play along with it. So standard tuning, capo, first fret. Chords, you're going to need to know to play this song. I'm going to show you the chords in relationship to the capo. So they're actually ringing out to the actual pitch of a half step higher. But the chord you're going to need is this G shape. F. C. And then uh, for the bridge, you'll need C major 7. All you do to play that is just take your fa first finger off of the C major. You have C major 7. You also need D major, uh, E minor, uh, for the outro, B minor shape, uh, and A minor shape. And if you got a second, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that really helps us to keep bringing the content, as well as then you'll be notified when we have new lessons and new content posted. Um, leave a comment below. Let us know what lessons you'd like to see. And if you like the video, please click the like button. Give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much for your support. The toughest part of this whole song is getting the rhythm and the strumming for the verses, because the way that he's accenting the beats, you're going to have to hit them on, on some upstrokes which might be a little bit foreign for you, but I'm gonna break it down, I'm gonna make it really easy, show you all the patterns, and just stick with it, and it will you will get there. So the song starts off with an intro, and it's the same progression that they use in both verses. And basically the chords in that are just G to F to C to F. And it repeats, do twice around for the intro. Let me play it for you, I'll just play the intro, I'll play through it twice, and then I'm gonna break it down and explain it. And that goes right into the first verse. I was a little too tall, could have used a few pounds. And they do the same exact rhythm and same chord, same progression as in the uh, intro, except the very last time, which we'll get to in a second. But let me break down that pattern to you, okay? So basically what you're gonna do, and you're gonna use this chucking, which is very important in this song. So I'm basically coming down, um, you, you know, you're voicing the chord and you're coming down with your hand and you're hitting the strings at the same time, the pick hits the strings. So you get that sound, that rhythmic chuck. That's what you want. And it's gonna take you a little second to get that nice and loud. Take you a little bit, but just practice it, you'll get it. Um, so the pattern. That's the first part that you wanna get. So basically I'm going down and then a DC, which I'll note DC, down chuck. Down, chuck, up, down. Chuck up down, chuck up down, chuck down, chuck. Try to get that first, and then we're going to put that in a rhythm. Okay, so that's when you got to go to the F on an upstroke. So here's the pattern for the G chord down, chuck up down, chuck up down, chuck up down, then F with an upstroke. Then you go to the C chord after the F and down chuck on the C chord. The first one is a chuck and then an up down. And then the same pattern again with a down chuck, up down. And then two hits on the F, okay? So let me do it really slow for you. All right, now when it goes back from the C, you're gonna go back to that F with an up down this time. You hit it twice. And then you get to your G. But because you're on that F up down, this time on the G, you're gonna hit that first one with an up down, right? So it's kind of like on that F, 
up, down, G, up, down. Then you start it over again. Okay? So I'm going to play the whole strum to the G chord from the G to the G slow. It'll sound like this. Starts over. It sounds complex, but once you get it rolling, it'll really feel right. So you do that two times around for the intro, and then it goes right into the first verse. I was a little too tall, could use a few pounds. Same exact progression, G, F, C, F. And you're gonna do that four times, and then the fifth time, you do the G, F to C. You don't go to the F. And then right after the C, it goes into the chorus. And that chorus is working on the night moves. And if you're having some trouble changing these open chords, you know, the kind of cowboy chords, you're making your changes in time while you're strumming, I could really help you with that. So much about chord changing comes with the technique and using the most proficient principles and techniques. I have an extended play video lesson. It's not on YouTube. I'll send it to you for free. Just click on the link in the YouTube description box below. I'll send you my essential chord changing techniques video lesson. It has tons of exercises. It'll really get your chord changes on point. And I'll also send you an ebook which has chord charts in it, more exercises, more lessons. It's a great one two punch video lesson and ebook. Send them both to you for free. Just click on that link below. Okay, so the chords in the chorus are C, D, E minor. And then D, C. And then um, it does that three times. And then it goes to uh, right back into that G, F, C, F strumming like we did in the verses and intro. And it does it two times. Uh, same exact rhythm. And that'll go right into verse two and you just continue that same G, F, C, F strumming. Let me play the chorus first because we have to use a different pattern because he's staying on the chords only for a couple hits each. I'll play it and then I'll go back and explain it. I'll take it right from that working on the night moves. Verse two. Okay, so what we're doing there is on the C chord, you're gonna do a down up for the working. Working on a. So C is down up, on a, down up on the D chord. Night moves, down, down. Working on a night moves. And then on the D, because you just did two downs on the E minor, up, down, and then C, up, down, down. So real slow. Working on a night. Okay, and then you repeat that, trying to make some front page driving news. Okay, and then you repeat it again, working on our night moves. The third time, working on our night moves. Same exact thing, but at the end, this last time, the C chord, you're going to do down, up, down, up. One and two and to get you back into the G chord because you do that G, F, C, F two times before it goes into verse two. So that last line of the chorus will sound like this. I'll do it slow. Okay, so you see how you connect that so you have most of the song already. It's verse, chorus, verse, chorus. After the second chorus in the sweet summertime, summertime, he goes into an interlude and then a bridge section. The interlude is just instrumental. Those chords are E minor, D minor, and G. And the way he plays it is like this. Okay, so it's basically E minor and you hold it, let it ring, and then E minor, you're still holding it down, up, quickly to a D, down, up, and G, down, up. And then you hit the G once more and let it ring. Then it goes into the bridge section where he's saying, oh, I wonder, felt like lightning, yeah, and I waited on the thunder. All right, 
And this part is long, but um, when he goes into the night moves, night moves, it's that same GFCF progression again. So for the bridge section, he's gonna start with strumming some chords and then he's gonna just kind of let them ring and, and kind of talk over him. And that talking starts off with that, I woke last night to the sound of thunder, how, how far off I sat and wondered. And he's just kind of hitting him and letting him ring. Let me play you the strumming part of the bridge first. So remember, you're coming out of the interlude where you're holding that G chord. And then, oh, I wonder, that part sounds like this. You hold that G chord. I woke last night to the sound of thunder. How far off I sat and wondered. Okay, let's go over the strumming part first, then I'll show you the chords and he's holding it. Strumming pattern is just a little bit different than what you were doing in the intro and the verses. We're gonna go a down, chuck up, down, chuck up, down, chuck up, down, chuck up. And that's where you change chords to the next one with the down. So I'll do it real slow on the C major seven to the G. same strum pattern on each one until you get to the G just hit the chord and hold so it that, while that G chord is being held right and then it's gonna go into where he comes back in with the vocal lines I woke last night to the sound of thunder and then you go C major 7 how far off I sat and wondered G started humming a song from 1962 C major 7th again ain't it funny how the night moves E minor after moves then go to C we just don't seem to E minor have as much to lose you're just holding all these chords letting them ring C strange how the night night E minor moves and then you do this C to C major 7th with autumn closing in again that's C C major 7 with autumn closing in now that G is the last one, and you're gonna hold it, and then guess what? He starts the strumming and rhythm playing that GFCF again, same as the intro and verses. Right? And you do that quite a few times, because then he goes through all the vocal ad libs, night moves, I sure remember the night moves, ain't it funny how you remember, funny how you remember, and he keeps doing it, and all along you're playing that C, G, F, C, F with that same strum pattern, right up into the outro where the progression changes so that last time night moves i remember lord i remember lord i remember oh uh oh -huh, uh. so when you listen to the uh oh oh's when you listen for that he's going to change and the outro chords are e minor b minor a minor c g i remember and then you hit g once again and just let it ring and the song ends. Now the pattern is a little different but it's very easy that you could use on the outro is just use a down, down, up, up, down, up strum. No chucking. Really eighth note kind of feel, right? One and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay so for the E minor and the B minor you do that strum pattern twice then the A minor C and G, you do the pattern once, and then you hit the G again, let it ring. I'll play it for you right from that E minor, it'll sound like this. That's it, song ends. I hope you enjoyed that lesson, really fun one. Be sure and stay tuned, I got tons more killer lessons and videos coming up. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel because then you'll be notified when we have these new lessons posted as well as it really helps us to keep bringing the content. Leave your comments below and don't forget, uh, get my free video lesson and ebook on essential chord changing playing technique tips and exercises. It's a killer extended play video lesson. It's not on YouTube and ebook. Just click on that link in the YouTube description box below. 
And if you got a second, um, I just dropped a new record with my original band, Mind Cell. We're based out of San Diego. I think it's a slamming record, some of the best music I've ever written. I'm really excited about it. I would love for you to hear it. It's streaming on all the platforms. I'll put links to that in the YouTube description box below. Check it out. And if you have any questions or comments, you know, let me know how you like the music or if you have any comments or questions on the gear I use, the studio recording, I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for your support over the years and years. So appreciated. Stay tuned lots more to come keep up all that hard work on those guitars keep having fun with it right and remember your playing is an evolution take care and rock on mm -hmm.